All right, everybody, welcome back for another stream with this beautiful pile of cards. Um, after the first league, which you can check out in the description below, uh, we made some changes. We added one more land. Maybe I might be interested in adding a 27th land down the line. And that was in the place of one of the romance. And then I added another Soul Guide Lantern to my sideboard in place of a Nature's Claim. Would it Astrolabe be better than Hydrate Crisis? Uh, I just don't think that Astrolabe really works with the plan of this deck. Like, the other card that I was thinking of is Steve. Instead of Gracers, maybe. Yeah, this is a keepable hand. Um, Steve was definitely a card that was high up on my list in terms of cards that I would like to try out, just to see what's up. Let's go with Royce, it's kind of a nice synergy. Uh, I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Not, not feeling in at 100%, but trying my best. What about Archmage's Charm? I mean, the thing is, it's more about like the space in the curve that it occupies more than anything else. So as usual, we're looking for a land here. Looking for a land. Sweet. The question is, do I want to Uro or do I want to Dryad here? I think I'm going to Uro. Hopefully find a Cryptic. Poggers. <clears throat> We do need more lands here. We definitely don't have enough. I guess Vala could use our best draw. What decisions was I waiting on that? Uh, well, it's mostly it's the fact of this. Like if my opponent actually, uh, I knew that they had a Dryad because I remanded it. So if they have a Dryad and they have two land drops, then they actually trade with my own Dryad and I, don't really want that. Like the most important thing that I'm getting from the Dryad, did I just call it Valakut too? Jeez. Um, uh, man, I really wish I had access to a remand. I can't double spell here. So I'm going to counter whatever my opponent plays. I don't think we're going to die to Field of the Dead. We're going to die to this or to a prime time. In before I die to Field of the Dead, right? Obviously. Mm-hmm. 
All right, here comes something big. Prime time. Hello, what's up? Uh, I guess I'm gonna counter bounce. Corner target spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Well, this is good. This is very good. This is very good. <sighs> so I think here I'm actually going to let my opponent's Dryad resolve. And I'm gonna save the cryptic, the, ugh, the cryptic for something bigger. Because I can next turn Dryad plus Fetch to kill my opponent's Dryad. Right, so now we draw our cryptic. It's nice. One, two, three. Our own dryad. Play dryad. Trigger there. Always yes, always yield. Fetch. Down to eight, that's fine. Island, trigger, kill there. And now we're holding up cryptic command for whatever my opponent can have. Next turn we can ramming up and kind of go off. What do we change to the deck? Uh, we added a land and we cut the third remand, the fourth remand, and then I said that I wanted to cut the crazes, but I couldn't figure out what to like what to cut it for. So we are just kept this thing. This is the land that we added, by the way. Maybe the fourth Uro should be the. And then we may, like, I cut the Ancient Grudge because that card is just not playable. Actually, without the... I'm, I'm stupid. I totally forgot. Like, Ancient Grudge was the only reason why I'm playing this team vents. So without the Ancient Grudge, we obviously should not be playing this team vents. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. So, that's silly. Titan was just the meme. I mean, I might play Titan. It just feels weird doing it, you know? Um, I guess I want to use my cryptic for something. And actually, yeah, I don't think I do. Land. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 
So we have cryptic. Fetch, we can blow this up. This just doesn't do anything. Can we just face? I really wonder why scape shift so a resurgence like it, it just does not seem like a good deck to me. One, two, three, four, five. I can even stop if I like a trigger if I wanted to, which is funny. Inland destruction and uh, no, we're not running any land destruction. Uh, sure, I can will just counter this mostly because I want to use my mana because I can go get a Mystic Sanctuary, so and now this is lethal, so it's cool. So, scar myself, fetch. Mystic, Cryptic on top, Valakut, I guess it, it, it deals more damage if I go face. All right, uh, reading pool tapped, shock you, land, bolt you, green, green, blue, blue, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> That's gonna be three more. You done up on it or you want to Sure. You want to You want to endure. That is okay with me. Ghost Quarter feels him so good with Exc Excavator. Yeah, but it's it's kind of not what we're about. And like every land that we're playing in our deck kind of makes is there for a reason. I could see adding something like a Ghost Squatter as a sideboard card more than anything else. But I'm not sure that I would be doing it in the main deck, right? Especially because we probably have a reasonable matchup against the stuff where Ghost Quarter would do stuff against. This matchup remains actually reasonable. Crisis can come out. I think we're gonna cut the quaddles. Maybe we should cut the Tamiyos instead. Just because I cannot play at instant speed with Tamiyos and they're a little bit awkward. This deck is cool. I I am enjoying this deck a lot, actually. This is kind of a sweet Planeswalker. Just like, finally a Planeswalker that they hit the right spot in terms of power level, because <laughs> it's not absurdly busted, because like all the ones that they made in 2019, they actually made a reasonable Planeswalker in 2019. Wild. Totally crazy. Also, I love how my opponent made me play it out. Play they made me play me play everything out, and we're still two minutes ahead of them in the clock. Just like what he, why? <laughs> just why opponent? Just why? Um, hmm.
<laughs> Cryptic, not a bad draw. We're going to start the Kentry Parade soon enough. Opponent not respecting spell snare. Oh. Wow. Steve. Yeah, actually, as I was saying, Steve is one of the cards that I was considering for this deck, which might be pretty good. Mm. Mm. That sucks. What do you think, medical? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean but by medical. I'm basically remanding anything here. If we get jubated, we get jubated. I just need to make sure I use my mana. Hmm. Oh, please. Uh... Um, cryptic, we can put a cryptic on top. Oh no, we can't, because this puts the thing into play tapped. Feels bad, man. Gracer. Play Valakut. Play land. Sego. Uh, would I? I would have loved to resolve an Ashiok right there. Would have loved to resolve an Ashiok. Unfortunately, I'm never lucky. Get an island, Mystic Sanctuary, put Remand on top. Yes, play Uro. <sighs> Only thing is, we're just hoping they don't have Veil. Veil would be problematic, but everything else we can probably beat pretty easily. Am I going to be streaming lots a week? I mean, I'm probably going to be streaming not too much for more today because I'm not feeling well. But if I'm feeling well, then yes, I'm going to be streaming all week and every week for that matter. Um, if things go to an aggressive, would you still want Steve or would Racer be luck? Oh no, I, I just want to see how Steve feels in this deck. Like I, I'm, I have not played this deck too much, right? This is literally my second league with it. If they have Bale here, they don't. Sweet. Um. What if I resolve Ashiok here? Lance, please. I think I'm going to take this turn to resolve Ashiok. Not play my land. Nick, my opponent's gonna resolve prime time, then we play Valakut and we kill the prime time. And we lose the game. <laughs> Whoops. That's right, Fry is a card. That is right, Fry is actually a card. 
<laughs> I'm off this counts as my human interaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm still looking for for somebody to borrow those cards from uh, Stabs. So we will we will for sure have the have the the Pioneer League with the turns deck. Don't worry about it. It's just it's it's been rough. It, it's been hard to find somebody to borrow the cards from. Oh wait, my opponent only has a couple of mountains in play. All right, give me lands off the top. If I draw lands off the top, I'm actually very, very in this game. What cards do I need? Um, I need. Uh, I made a tweet about it. If you give me a second, I can find it. This is the list of cards that I need. All right, give me lands. Okay, cool, 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 cool. First things first. Get this guy out of here. Always yes, always yes, always yield. And we're gonna get some of these dudes out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven mana. My opponent's not even close to triggering Valakut. They cannot tighten unless they also have a land. That is fine. We die to escape shift though. Search for tomorrow. Uh, I guess I, I wouldn't remand anything here because I need to find lands. Like the, the way that I win this game is by drawing lands <laughs> or a quaddle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. All right, again, that doesn't trigger Valakid, so we're fine. Triggers field, but we don't care too much about that yet. All right, so two, green, blue, blue. Uro, Ashiok, Tamiyo, Tarn. Misty Scar. Land. So I played a land, played an Asusa, and played a land with a trigger, then got rid of my Asusa with the trigger on the stack, and I played an Explorer, it didn't give me the Explorer land drop. Is this intended? Yes. Yes, that is intended. Yeah, because um, basically at all, the way to look at it, Leviathan, is at, at all points you want to ask, how many extra land drops do I have? Okay? And you look at the amount of land drops that you made, which in this case, it would be one, right? One extra land drop that you made. And then the Explorer will look at itself, like the Asusa is no longer in play, and then the Explorer will say, okay, how many land drops did you make? Well, I actually made two land drops, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Oh yeah, living dangerously. Living dangerously. Wow, they even tapped wrong. Now I can remand it if I wanted to. Fortunately, I have counter target spell, return target permanently to understand. Unfortunately for my opponent, I had just like a much better play. But like the way they tapped, they couldn't even play. They could have played around remand and they chose not to for whatever reason. 
So cryptic on top. If I look at you, if I look at you, I don't even care about the zombies anymore. And I guess I want to do this here. Just to draw. And now if we find the land of the aura, we can actually play it. Look at that proper sequencing. Uh, well, this is actually lethal, so let's go with this. <laughs> let's go with the lethal line instead of the maybe lethal line. As I was saying, I just don't understand what happened with Scape Shift. Like, I don't understand why people are trying to play it again. I just don't think it's very good. Like, the worst case scenario happened, and my opponent still wasn't even remotely close to to doing anything. The worst case scenario, which is my opponent answers, fries my Ashiok, and then untap and resolve the Primeval Titan. And it still did not matter. I like this hand. Uh... Ugh. I guess I'm going to bother Remand because it just doesn't fit in my curve. Speaking of Scape Shift, um... This is probably the Black Green Titan field. You see chat. Oh, sweet feeling, I appreciate it. You see? Because even the black green deck plays cards like Cavern of Souls. Like, why doesn't Scape Shift play Cavern of Souls? Abrupt Decay. Like, those are cards that I would imagine that, you know, you kind of want to be playing. All right, so what's the best thing that we can do here? I think we're going to play Dryad first. And next turn, we can ramming up into Quaddle. <clears throat> if they have Castle here, that's... Castle into Titan would be a big problem. All right, sweet. Mm. So they did have the castle, they just don't have the Titan. They can draw though, they have a, have a pit land. All right, so this turn we're gonna play Ramming Up. We're gonna play two lands from our graveyard, hashtag value. How's the migraine? It's annoying, like it always is. But we're holding, we're holding it there. Hey, Goblin Guy, how's it going? All right, no Titan one time. I guess at the second that they find the Titan, we are in a lot of trouble. I mean, we can still counter the Dryad, as we just saw in the previous game. It's not like the Titan itself is that problematic for us. Glad to see modern streams, it's going well. Yeah, that's that's what you can find here. Always, modern, always. Modern always, except when it's legacy or when it's a donation league or for some other formats, which basically never happens, but when it does, 
when he does. Yeah, I I just don't feel pioneer, honestly. All right, Rodrigo, you have a ton of zombies. Like so many zombies. And I think here we're just gonna draw because the fetch lands are gonna help me with Corsair. So I'm gonna be able to like shuffle and stuff. All right. Valakid, right here on top. Valakid. Damn it, I kind of won that card. <laughs> Ugh. I think I need to shuffle and look for Valakut. Because the Titan's going to bury me, though, otherwise. Nope. Nope. Can I afford to to just one turn not do anything? I have one, two, three, four, five blockers. Okay, I think I think I'm just gonna chill for one turn, unless Rodrigo finds exactly a dryad off the top. I think we're not dead, and if we start looping cryptics, we might actually get there. We also get to trade the Ice Fang for the for the prime time. But if they if if he finds a if he finds a, a dryad, then we're just dead. There's nothing we can do. Why didn't I play the land for the graveyard? Uh, honestly, it was just a brain fart. <laughs> As I said multiple times, I'm not not feeling particularly 100% right now. Right, Rodrigo, just whiff one turn for me. Thank you very much. Uh, that's right, I forgot that that is a card. Block, 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 block. We're basically playing 2 4 tribal. I guess I need two turns to make this work so we can bounce it, I guess. What is this? Oh. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, the idea is we loop cryptics until we eventually find the... Um, we eventually find the um, Valakut and then we just start, just start going face. Okay, Valakut, please. Valakut, please. Sad. Um... Yay! Okay, cool. Always yes, always yield. Mm. Actually, that doesn't work, right? Because if I bounce here, I can't tap their zombies. Wait, do, do I have lethal here? I think I might just have lethal. I 
think I might just have lethal. All because of all the fetches that I didn't crack. Yeah, I actually do have lethal. Sick. Cryptic command. It's pretty good. Type of creatures your opponent's control to a card. Easy. <laughs> got there. All right, Gust, Stroke, and Ashiok. And we might want Veil. My opponent's answer to stuff is black. Seems a little bit narrow, however. Similar cyber into what I I did against Scape Shift. Oh yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're good. My Titan Soul trembles. <laughs> uh, yeah, Remains good against Titan decks, I guess. Lands, cause that's all I ever want in life. The natural valicut. Lance. Sad face. Attack for value. Gracer plus cantrip deck, exactly. What are you talking about? Harlan is the perfect combination. Should I remand my own thought scour? There's no way I remand my own thought scour, right? That's just madness. That's just madness. Don't listen to me, chat. Gasps. I mean, he probably has decay. He probably has decay. I think my best chance of winning is for them to not have decay, though. See chat? See this right here? Exactly. That's what I thought. I mean to be fair, if if he does go ahead and resolves a Titan here, we kinda get beat down by it. <laughs> um so there's that. <laughs> see chat exactly. Do you see chat right here? Right here. Would I melt myself for one? I mean, there's no need to do it just yet. We can do it next turn or the next one. We have no rush, kind of. Uh, sad. So sad. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Not sad anymore. Just happy now. Uh, we could mill ourselves for value if we wanted to. 
Sounds not unreasonable. Again, my opponent's answers to Ashok are probably are Rob Decay slash Beast within. Oh, I, I scoured myself. Okay. Ah, feels bad, man. I drew the decay. Or modern stable fry. We did get hit by modern stable fry, so. I do respect the fry. Hour of promise. Please don't have another veil. They totally have another veil, don't they? They totally have another veil. As I was saying, they totally have another veil. At least we draw. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. All right, we want to find lands, chat. We want to find lands. That's not enough to trigger field, so that's good. Ah, oh, sad. They're protected now. Flooded Grove. Feels bad, man. Well, considering now they have Cavern for Giant, I think I just do this. That's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, okay. We're cooking. We're cooking here. We are cooking. So, unless something goes horribly bad right now. You gotta progress the gameplay, friend. You know we can't evaluate it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Especially when my opponent has a freaking Cavern of Souls naming giant over there. That that second veil got me super hard though. And the worst part is like they cycled the first one, and you know, you know that they drew it off it. You know, you just know it. Feels bad, man. Just don't have all Solid Titan. What is this? Oh, our promise? It's probably just as bad. Oh, that's actually lethal. <laughs> oh, there you go. I guess I should have held up Remand, didn't I? Oh, wait, they don't have another Valakut? Oh, they have Bounce Land. It's the same. Yeah, because they, they didn't play lands this turn, did they? Basic swap with the amulet. Yeah, my, my opponent is not playing amulet. They're playing black green titan field. Yeah, I think they don't have... I think they didn't play land. But I'm I'm legit not sure. Yeah, they they had it. Okay, cool. Correction is shutting down two hold colors. <sighs> well, so we have to do the same thing. And that decay though. That decay was indeed quite abrupt. <laughs> Mono two drops. I 
Per stream or per league. I do say you see chat a lot, but because I want you chat to see, you see? Remand. What do you get from me, Rodrigo? What do you get? Another explorer. Okay. Come find another blue source. Puchuca bog. We can't. Sweet. Um. Okay. So I think we pass, oh man. So we can Ashiok right now, or we can Gust plus Stroke. <laughs> we could resolve that with Clock Quattle, we would have a sick Clock, I know. And they would all have Death Touch too. Sick. It felt so amazing. I used to be just kind of So Tron is the deck I hate the most. Yeah, I hate I hate Tron too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold for this turn. And then depending on what Rodrigo does, I'm going to potentially do something else next turn. Just don't have Cavern plus Veil, because that would be too much. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go go Augusting over there. Gustcha. Veil could not stop Gust. That is correct. But if I gust, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, makes sense. Uh, all right, thought scour, Ugh, we actually have to do this. They probably kept it on top, right? On top, yep. All right, so we have to mail them. Get in there, snakes. We time walk this turn. Vomit. No natural valakit, please. All right. Lance. Thank you. Defending Ashiok with my life over here. Step over from up to thank you for giving me this up. Yeah, thank you for being here, Harlan. Sure. Not a great trade, but like keeping Ashiok nice and healthy seems like a good proposition for us. That is pretty good. Not gonna lie, that is pretty, that is pretty good. All right, we just need our own Dryad. 
so we can out dry it my opponent's dry it because we have Vala cute and they don't Good. That's also good. That's not. <laughs> so just to recap, good, good, not good. In case anybody had have, have any questions. Did I say this one was not good? Because I meant that this one is really not good. But I guess that's what we're doing, aren't we? Stopping the zombie horde in the saddest possible way. Love seeing you here, Harlan. I've watched Fran basically since the beginning, and it's nice to see him growing stream. Oh, yeah, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. You have been here since the beginning for real. Like long time ago now. <laughs> really long time ago. Oh, well, there's recommendation. He's a friend has been in such a oh sweet. Yeah, uh, Matt does sometimes hang out here. Not too often, but it's always nice when he does. So we're getting to the point where I kind of need some gas. Ramming up would be kind of the nuts. Never mind. Nothing. Okay, okay. I guess we're going to going to ch change gears onto the tap and drop land and then start to attempt to aggro out my opponent. Cuz this Ashok is definitely holding the fort. Like the only reason why we haven't lost yet, it's because we have this Ashio going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap and draw here. To protect them. Like my Ami game was in progress. Oh, thank you, Richin. That's what I'm here for. What is this? Six mana primeval titan. Sounds good. Another land would be nice. Any untapped land? Not quite that. Tap and draw. We need to get a little bit lucky here. Ramina would be the nuts, probably. Yes, we can act exactly lethal them here. Attacking with Ice Fang in the exact turn in order to set up lethal three turns later. Feels real good, man. 
feels hella good. Can we have that dance again? <laughs> you can watch it as many times as you want on YouTube later tonight. <laughs> Did I have three more damage? How? I didn't have any more land drops. Yeah, just crazies is so awkward, man, in this deck. I don't like crazies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, Titan shifted, Pepega. <laughs> I do what Twitch wants. <laughs> Welcome back, Sam. Thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate the support. Could have used the fetch twice. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, me sequence there. Yeah, you're right. Um, what what else do we bottom here? We need all of these cards. Ugh. We're totally gonna flood here, aren't we? We're totally gonna flood. Oh, oh, oh! You're saying there's a chance. Chat, apparently there's a chance. What is this? Oh, you're missing some serious spy, Sam. This deck is sweet. Another ramming up. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, wrapping up in fashion is Krieg Asim. <laughs> Block. Wow. My opponent respects me so hard, they didn't even make me do it. Helix face. Okay. I didn't appreciate this that my opponent's doing over there. Why not play Remina? Because I take two damage and then my opponent kills it and I get no value and it's all sorts of sad. So that's why. Hope that answers the question. Uro, please come to me. Well, I guess Uro is not even that good here, isn't it? Nope, not even that good. A little fetch. Play this tapped. Yeah, yeah, Ramin up is feeling frisky. Aha, uh -huh. well, that's good for us. Did amazing over the weekend PTQs and challenges. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that Pont just like ended up in the top, what? Top two? Like he, I know he qualified for the PT. Um, should I counter bounce here? Just counter draw. 
I guess we counter draw. It's possible I shouldn't even be doing this. So I'm doing this because if my opponent only has two drops in hand and not enough lands, we can scour them, fetch for Sanctuary, put Cryptic on top, scour them. Well, I guess that we actually can't, never mind, because they can just not do anything. So I, I, I punted there pretty hard, actually. Punted pretty hard, actually. Well, or did I scour self? Draw. Wait, what? No! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I would have won this game. I would have won this game because my opponent's locked out. I just never attack anymore. I just grace her. I grace her, grace her. Eventually, I resolve. Well, I guess I can't resolve Uruk. Can, can I game life somehow? Yeah. Yeah, I really. Let's say I punted that again. I said something. So this is this is the typical thing that happens when I'm streaming. I say something and I figure out my line and when I go ahead and execute it, I I fuck it up. <laughs> um it's something that's it just happens. It just happens while you're streaming. You know, your 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 mind is in multiple things at the same time and It's hard to keep keep it all together. Yeah, I, I even said I said it out loud. I said it out loud. I I can I can make this trick happen because I can I can scour my opponent and I can draw the card. Like I literally set it up in order to make it work. And then when I went ahead and I executed, I I fucked it up. And I'm gonna keep this hand. And if we don't find a land, we're gonna get super punished. But. Like, this is just too good to pass up. Stop playing Amulet after the KCA ban and repeatedly finding the line driving home after events. Yep. It's something that happens. All right, now we're going to die like we did so many times because we never find our, our land drops. Feels bad, man. Oh, hey. Do I just have to fetch shock here? I definitely have to dry it. That part I know. So I think I'm just going to do this. They will need to either double bolt my dryad or like blaze plus something to dry it. Ice from Quaddle on top. They might have lethal if they have two one mana burn spells here. One doesn't kill me, but two do. 
The new one does deck is boom bust deck is stupid. I mean, it's playing boom bust like clearly it has to be stupid by definition. So there's a quaddle on top of my deck. Ugh, this is gonna be an Eidolon. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Well, I guess we play Cursor and we just pray that there's a land on top of my deck. Every time, man. Every time. Every time we lost a game, it was because I didn't draw land. All right. Another 2-0 into 2-1 feels bad. But the 4 and one dream is alive. Also, let me update real quick over here. Sports. Helens 2.0. This deck is fun though, it feels like like if I hadn't thrown away that game one. We might have gotten there. Um once I got got there. Like a ninja. Like a freaking ninja chat. Also, this list is suboptimal, by the way. Like we're playing, we're playing a Steam Vents for no reason whatsoever. So, humans, like our humans matchup needs to be at least decent. Was the reason for Soul Guide Lantern instead of Relic? Because Soul Guide Lantern decks an Exalior Graveyard and we are an Uro deck. We are an Uro Tamiyo bunch of other synergy cards deck, so I don't actively want to exile my graveyard. Fire is basically blank against you. Uh, I mean it, it bothers my cryptics. It's not like great. Like I'd rather my opponent not have a Thalia. It's not game breaking. Like I'm not playing regular escape shift basically. I'm playing like a bunch of creatures, so. Yeah, actually the original list that I that I saw was playing relics in the sideboard, but like that this synergy actually I'm not too excited about. And just by definition, I'm just not the biggest fan of relic. I think that in the matchups where you need that kind of effect, being forced to hold up the mana is not the easiest thing in the world. So we're probably going to take this five. Maybe more. Yes, seven. You know, fetch for a basic, very important for this quaddle to be death touchy. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna fetch for a forest. Uh, I guess we can do another island here. We're gonna Uru. Gain some life, hopefully find another basic so we can... This Batman. Um, at least next turn we're gonna be able to start triggering Balakit, which should obviously be good for us. I could also use cryptic to cryptic tap. What do I think of Solgai Lantern? I mean, it's in my great it's in my sideboard, so yes, I like it. <laughs> All right, is this lethal? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's scary enough. It's coming to block the biggest one. Do I need to cryptic tap here? I think I'm gonna need to tap and draw. Because just like Dryad plus land is not enough to stabilize. And we lose to Medley Mage, I think. Which is unfortunate. Uh, actually, maybe I should have balanced the vial there. Maybe not. Second vial is probably the best draw. Try it. Kitesail Freebooter. I think that's not it. I think that's not it. So I have two options here. So this can block here, the other one can block here, but I think I'm gonna need at least three triggers. So this is gonna be one, two in the air. So I'm going to need to put two triggers here and one trigger here. So let's start. Yes, always sealed. So now we do this. Breeding pool here this here we have still one trigger ready to go yeah that's a flooded grove this is some serious spice alex Good, good recommendation, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Good recommendation. Reflector Mage is kind of a beating. Yeah, it's a big beating. Big, big beating. Wait, there's more? Second Reflector Mage? Must be nice when you draw a vial, only two lands. Yep. 
must be nice. Okay, so we want Gust, we don't want Remands. Well, our sideboard really does not work in this matchup. This deck kind of feels like a Lightning Bolt would help a lot. Maybe some number of these members in the sideboard. Sure. The one of romance. <laughs> Turn one vial every game. I think if they play a two drop, I might just remand it. I guess I want to get the Ice Fang into play, so never mind, but. This is really stinker. Yeah, so the previous lists that I had seen with for this deck, yeah, they were playing Ren and stuff, and that's like it. That's a different deck, I think. That's just a different deck. Yeah, we're not drawing the correct part of my deck. I don't think. Reflector Mage, brutal, absolutely brutal. I think we're going to name Dryad here. Double Valakid gone forever. Uh, we do have a Cryptic, though, with an active. We're an active Mystic Century. So maybe we could stall a little bit. Jesus, really? If humans always drew like this, it would be the best deck in the format. 
Taking turns like that out top 8 of the PD. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I liked it a lot. It, it looked like a lot of fun. Interesting. Raminep instead of naming Cursor? Okay. Let's see what they attack. Just go face with everything. Okay. I think I'm going to hold one more turn because next turn this can trade. So it's going to effectively save more life. Jeez, they have the lieutenant too? Wow. Opponent's too good. Opponent is just too good. Sure. Sure, you, you get that one too. You got that one too, why not? Mm -hmm. It's actually lethal, like way more than lethal, right? They, they still have two, how do they still have two cards in hand? One, two, three, we block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's very lethal. It's very lethal, my friends. All right. And I have a link to the taking turns list. Uh, it's just, if you go to here, You, you probably want to bookmark that website because that is like where if, after every event, they just post all the lists in there. So you definitely want to make sure that you have access to, to, that, to that page. Maybe a opponent wouldn't see the line, which is right click attack all. Right-click attack all, it's a tough line to see sometimes, you know. Opt. Huh, I wonder what this is, maybe it's Storm? Could be storm. <laughs> More remands. Sounds good. Maybe just blue white. Hitting land drops like a champ. I think I might want to try to, I think I might want to try to go ahead and add one more land to this deck. And I'm 100% uh, remanding this opt right here. GTFO. All right, so we play Uro now. Yeah, so they are on Blue Moon, I would imagine. More lands, we want more lands. I'll take all the lands you can give me, deck.
I'm actually going to remand here. Because I want to keep digging. And because if my opponent taps out for something like a Jace, we untap and we play Dryad plus Raminab and we just win. So I act actively want my opponent to tap out for a Jace over there. Try it. Oh, I should play my land before. Whoops. They fetch a sanctuary for no value. Weird. Yeah, yeah. I I actually missequenced here. My bad. Sorry, chat. I guess that we can get make the most of a bad situation and get some value over there. I'm into value. Are you into value, folks? Cause I'm I'm certainly into value. Papa puns. I should be a hashtag. Hashtag Papa Pons. So we're drawing a remand. We have another Dryad in hand. Feeling pretty good here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Oh. Flame Slash. Jeez, I had not seen this card since the Twin Days. It's really been a minute since I saw that one. Get rid of this guy. Green, green. Land. Never lucky. Never lucky. Let's squad drop. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, that's. I was gonna say that I, I still felt pretty good about my position there. All right, so let's bring the cards that my opponent can't beat. They probably have uh, blood boons and stuff. Definitely won't dispute. Maybe I won't either gust. Maybe. Not sure. And I might want Ashia, but most likely not. Romance sounds good. Claim, Veil, good stuff. Actually, seen Tony might be pretty good. Is this my deck? Sick. Hey, it might be Venom Slims. I, I have no idea. I played against somebody on stream last week and I kind of fell in love with the deck. I thought it was extremely, extremely sweet. And I'm playing it now. That's basically the story. I think in this matchup, I actually do want the, the Crasis. Finally, we're gonna see the crisis be actually good. This is good, this is good, this is good. Probably not keeping this hand, but I'm definitely keeping this hand. Friend and chat, I just for the GP qualifier this weekend. I have no clue what to play because standard is EU and I have no and it has no prime time. Wow. You you signed up for a non-prime time event? I have literally never done that, so I, I cannot help you. Oh, that was you playing it. Oh nice, yeah. Yeah, we this is my second league with it so far. I have not... Yeah, Ragnar Sacrifice definitely seems like the, the... At least it's the deck that feels the most natural to me or like the most 
coherent with the stuff that I like doing or the style of magic that I like to play. We've changed the list and just five bold if you want to send me yeah, yeah, sure. Send me send me an update, please. Uh, you, you can post it in chat if you want to, Airwaves. Um, I feel like we definitely wanted a 25th, a 26th land at least. And I'm honestly, I'm erring towards the side of one in 27. I hope this is a blue and not an Ashiok. Or nothing. Nothing is also good. Don't have stock right to sack or just got fire so arena on arena. Oops. So wait. Do you ever have the cards for the event that you were playing and playing? Yeah, I mean just play whatever you have at this point, I guess. Um I think I think I'm gonna Oro here. Because it's the thing I care the least if they counter it. Which they might. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. We don't care. <laughs> Colos. Yeah, but now because of because I got I used the fetch land, now we next turn we can ram it up into value or we can courser into land. I think I'm just gonna slam a courser here. Might get cryptic. It's probably cool. Like we, we just have to dig through. Like we don't have any ways of uh, powering through cryptics yet in hand. If we had, we would of course start waiting. But mm, I wonder if they're gonna put a metallic or serum vicious on top. Opt. Interesting. All the good modern streams are dead, and only I remain. Brutal. That's why it's generally tight and nonsense. <laughs> I watch him. Nice. Thanks, Magus. You're, you're, you're very welcome. All right, so I guess we might just flash back Uro next turn to play around the potential Ashiok. Honesty is always appreciated, Magus. They topped, then bottom. All right. Get attacked by a Snapcaster. Something good? Not necessarily. Um. All right. Attempt at Golos number one. One. Two, three, four, five. Roman, eight August. Sure, we're gonna top it. Eh, maybe I should have bottomed it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely should have top bottomed it. Young PC, wow. My opponent is playing a deck from like five years ago. Crazy. Um, I want to block you. I want to block you. And trade with the touch. I wanna block you. So you don't stop making tokens on me. Really made a bad decision, <laughs> but I can't play for a meme time. I mean, that's why I don't do it. Thoughts on Bubble plus Thoughts Cover deck to mill Uro. Mmm, that, that's very tempting, Magus. That sounds like a great idea. Do we trade here? I kind of don't want to die out of nowhere. 
shit. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna trade. Alpine Moon! Waste your counter magic here, opponent, please, and thank you. How much for you to serenade me? Just, just, just send me, just call me, Harlan. I'll serenade you for free. It's just great value for everybody if I serenade you, so. Okay, so now we have options. I think Courser is gonna be step number one. Free eargasms, exactly. So step number one. And step number two. How does my opponent beat these two fours? Like, it's just not possible. Senpai official recognizer. <laughs> So if I swap the value now. I mean it is it is pretty good value, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, flame slash. Let's see what they destroy. They kill the courser. Interesting. I kinda do want the ice fangs, I'm just gonna chill here. Right, one land, two lands. Green, blue, ice fang. At this point, I guess my opponent just have per has perfect info, so. Green, blue, and one. And we can even hold up remand. <sighs> Just look at this. Look at this. So much CI CAs is my opponent. I don't even know what that is, but I'll give them the smiley emoji. And the reason you aren't playing the Gulio's green red mid-range yet. Um No? No no real reason. <laughs> it's just Yeah, I don't know. Don't have a good reason for you, Mega. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. My opponent says Sim Sweet, though. I dig it. I'm going to say, me too. It's been fun. All right, so let's think here for a second. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. So we can literally do everything and then some. Blue, blue, green. One, two, three, four, five. Only thing that we're gonna leave on top is the nature's claim because we can we can go get it with. So now with the world trigger on the stack, we're gonna fetch Mystic Sanctuary, put claim on top, draw it, counter, and do nasty, nasty things to my opponent. Also, if we bounce Moon, we win on the spot. Uh, that's actually probably better. I was thinking of like holding the Cryptic to like counter whatever my opponent is doing, because I can just uh, go get the Nature Slam, right? Seems very good against the small sphere decks. That's been my experience. My opponent says BRB. Is there a reason you don't bounce the moon and just kill him? Yeah, the fact that my opponent has two cards in hand and one of those is something that they opted into and they kept on top. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to... We cast the Uro, with the Uro trigger on the stack, 
we're going to um, fetch from Mystic Sanctuary, put Claim on top, claim the Alpine Moon, and just take it from there. With double counter backup. Playing with it was like a cat. Um, also, the fact that doing this on my opponent's upkeep is so much better. Like, we can actually do this stuff at instant speed. So, doing it on my opponent's upkeep just seems way better because it also plays around four. I guess I don't care about four stone eye. Because my opponent only has two cards in hand, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can fool like a cat. Yeah, chill, okay? <laughs> Four, yeah, we have everything. But yeah, inst I, instead of bouncing the Alpine Moon, I think they're just destroying it. It's better. I guess that means we won't get to kill this turn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's probably going to be fine. And now after that, that beautiful that beautiful song that I sung I sang you guys earlier, now we have the the outtake from the Bob Marley original, which is I wanna bolt you. Midi Chloronite, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold. Thank you for the support. Enjoy your emotes and the stupid, stupid songs. But yeah. I'm gonna bolt you through your one ones. I'm gonna bolt you. Need more songs? Yeah, Levi. My opponent has two cards in hand, which I'm trying to beat. Right? I don't know what this card is. All I know is that one of those cards, my opponent opted into, and they kept on top. So, I don't know what they are, whatever they are, I want to be able to beat them. In order to beat them, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying to not fall face first into them. Like, my opponent is losing to my board state right now, right? They are losing to my board. Oh, they're making things even better for us. Okay, so now we're gonna claim there. And we're going to fetch. And we're gonna fetch again. Yeah, so by doing that, we don't need to take the to make the first move. And then it makes it so it's easier for us to To play, uh, to play around whatever cards they might have in hand. Do I own stocks and do I recommend? I mean, th the kind of stocks that I, I own are stock amulet lists. That's that's what I own. I do own those stocks. Guess I need to buy those Valakids and Dryads, says Muldurk. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome back with that two sub for the eighth month in a row. Mulder DK, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Long time lurker, love to come. Oh, thank you, Midi Clarinite. I appreciate it. Didn't some way say socks? No, we did not say socks. We did, did say stocks though. All right, uh, thoughts about the list. Um, I don't like crazies. This card just doesn't do anything. Maybe this is just a sideboard card and we just, I, I don't know, I don't like it though. Um, that human matchup, that human's matchup left me a little bit worried in that, I don't know, I felt like if we didn't have the triad, we just could never keep up. I mean, to be fair, my opponent had the nuts both games, right? They had like turn one vial both games into like never running out of gas. Like they threw five lands total between both games. Um, but... 
Yeah. I don't know. Matt Dilks determines Stoke. Yes, uh, it's weird because like now that Matt is not playing because there's no ACG events, I wonder. I, I cannot copy any lists. Feels bad, man. What's stuck now? I am. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I have no idea. No, I'm. I'm gonna wrap it up right now. There's it. I. I'm not feeling well today. I. I had a pretty bad migraine, so. I'm still not recovered just yet. It sucks because I spent like four bucks on each one of these, but it's fine. All right, so baby six. You see, I'm like I'm speaking in Spanish. This is this is just it makes no sense anymore. Um, another land. What what is it gonna be? Like another flooded grove, maybe. Maybe another fetch, actually. Yeah, just another fetch land. Vista or... I guess a Vista. So now we have 11 fetches, one flooded grove. I did the math, trust me. I'm a scientist. We want colors. <laughs> Uh, don't die, drink water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've been on it. I've been on it. Uh, like I, I I know how to handle my my migraines pretty well, but it's just one of the things that no, I just can't. Sometimes you just cannot handle them. I just have to accept them as they come. You know, honestly, like the fact that I stream four hours right now, it's pretty. I'm 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 impressed at myself. Honestly, I was expecting to be done after like an hour and fifteen minutes or something. Um, uh, the problem with Waterlog Grove is like the damage does matter. So, yeah, the Tommy is kind of medium. Like it has great, great synergy. So like, actually, yeah. So let's let's do it like this. I I don't think we should be playing Crisis, and I think that the Tommy is just enough of like. A late game bomb uh, as far as our deck is concerned probably what I would be playing is a fourth copy of Uro but I don't own it so I have to kind of like make do with something else and what could what could we use there maybe an Archmage's Charm it's just like I don't think I want to keep playing I kind of don't want to keep adding like random like counter magic spells Honestly, I could even see, like, a, if I own, like, a Brazen Borrower or something, I could even see something like that. Or, like, a Perilius Voyage, or, like, one of those, like, Mimi cards. Like, just spam a spell. Also, I could just see, like, a one-off dismember. Maybe, maybe it's just a little bit too random, but, like, just to like, see what I'm, what I'm trying to, you know, to, to, to consider here. Also, I don't think we should be playing Nature's Claim, and I think that we should be playing Return to Nature instead. Oops. There we go. Is Racing Bar 1 Specs in a motto? It's like 50 tickets. Tracker seems good. Alright, now that's a... That's a late game thread I can I can get behind. Yeah, this is basically the the thread I wish that the thread I wish that um, what's his name Crisis would have been in this past league. It definitely is a little bit mono three drops though. So we want to watch out for that. Also, this is getting dangerously familiar with this. We didn't get to play Ren memes yet. Just saying. We didn't get to play Ren memes. So... 
Stupid decks with stupid lands is definitely not over in this channel. I'm ready for Ren memes. <laughs> I'd be okay watching to this tomorrow. Yep. This is Ren memes, my friends. And this, this might be happening soon. This might be happening soon. Just when you thought that there was only one Asusa deck in Modern, we're playing four Remnant of Exilator and the two Crucibles because we just didn't have enough. And two random Primeval Titans as our late game. Like, this is how we know that we're not messing around, you know? <laughs> Maniac? Yeah, prob probable. It's possible that that's the case. What was the other Mimi list? Oh, yeah, the other Mimi list is even more hilarious. Astral Ren. I have meme lists for days, chat. I have meme lists for days. You have followed my stream for a while. You know that I have tried to make Astral Drift work. This is kind of a pet card of mine because Astral Slide was my favorite card back in the day. Like back when, when I just started playing. Like I, I really wanted to play... Um, Astral Slide in in extended and like I guess standard standard and extended back back in the day, but I could never do it because the deck was just super expensive. So now that I have cards, I can do it, but it's not playable. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it playable, except it's probably not gonna be. But there, this is the other one. We, this is the list that we actually streamed. I actually played a couple of leagues with this list on stream. I think I went like 3-2 or 3-2 or something. Rhinomania. <laughs> Just set a win side comma for maximum meme town. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Astral Rain is kind of sweet. Just all the sweet, sweet ETV triggers. I really want to get paired against like Burn or something and just have just walls in the main deck, scavenging news, Night of Autumn, Kitchen Things, and just like cycle Lasso Drift. <laughs> Hunt Master main deck, four Blood Braids, just because. <laughs> I cannot wait to Blood Braid into Astral Drift. That's like, that's the dream that I want to live. You know, that, that's the world that I want to live in. Kill my Kiki Jiki, no problem. We we just cycle, blink Eternal Witness, get back Kiki, Resto, get in there. Double Thrak Tusk, of course. <laughs> anyway, back to the Lance deck that we were actually playing today. <laughs> it's just a little, just a little, little extra, just a little looking into the future. Blinking Thrak Tusk, oh yeah, baby. Exactly. Um, so yeah, one thing is that I'm pretty sure that we don't need this many like, counter magic and stuff. Like we are pretty good against the blue decks, I think. Stroke makes sense because of like Tron or whatever, but... Ashiok also was nice. When it was nice, it was very nice. Soul Guide Lantern. We just didn't play against any deck where this was good. Dredge, and we got completely obliterated. One Dismember. Classic, classic. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna definitely look at the, the list that uh, those folks were talking about, kind of see where, where their mind is at. Uh, but this is where mine is at. Like, again... Uh, just drawing cards as being the most problematic thing, like uh, making hitting my lenders as is the most problematic thing. So I kind of want to make sure that we play at least 27, 26 slash 27 last, like 25 was definitely way too low. Um, I definitely want to make room for more. Um, so 28 feels a little bit more reasonable. But yeah, uh, thanks everybody for bearing with me today. I know that I wasn't the most <laughs> it wasn't the most entertaining as I often try to be it was mostly that I'm just not feeling particularly well but 
we, we we did it. We did it. You know. Hopefully, I I was able to provide some some content that you enjoyed. And yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.